Welcome to our video series on Understanding Narcissism. This is Real Talk with Tim. In this edition we're delving deep into the complex world of narcissists, unmasking their truths and unveiling their tendencies. Have you ever wondered about the things a narcissist will never do? Well we've got you covered. In this video, we will explore the actions and attitudes that are virtually alien to a narcissist. From their relationship with truth to their handling of responsibility, we will dissect their behavior and shed light on their intricate manipulation tactics. So sit back, relax, and let's delve into the world of narcissism. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered what a narcissist will never do? Let's dive right in and explore the first thing they never do, telling the truth. When we mention a narcissist and truth together, it's akin to trying to mix oil and water, two elements that fundamentally oppose each other. Narcissists are masters of manipulating stories, distorting realities and casting themselves in a positive light. They are experts in the art of half-truths. This half-truth is a dangerous thing. It's not a full lie but it's absolutely not the whole truth either. It's like a distorted mirror reflecting an image that strays substantially from reality. Take a narcissist's recounting of their past relationship for example. They'll depict themselves as the victim, the one who was mistreated and abused. Yet, the actual story often sings a contrasting tune. They could even blame a friend or colleague for something they themselves are guilty of. This is a game to them, to gauge your reaction, and to feel as if they've shed their guilt, albeit indirectly. Narcissists are puppet masters, skillfully pulling the strings to ensure they're always seen in the best possible light. Rarely will they unveil the full truth. If ever they do, it's usually twisted in a way that leaves them blameless. They're similar to non-stick pans, allowing nothing to stick to them, particularly guilt or accountability. In their world they are the heroes, and everyone else is either a villain or a sidekick. They tailor their stories to protect their image, to avoid any negative consequences of their actions. They are adept at diverting blame and dodging responsibility, leaving a trail of confusion and hurt in their wake. So remember, a narcissist will rarely tell the whole truth, and if they do, it's typically distorted in a way that allows them to evade blame. In the realm of a narcissist, the truth is a malleable entity, reshaped to fit their narrative and protect their... Moving on, another thing a narcissist will never do, is offer a genuine compliment. You see, narcissists are often driven by envy. They're unable to celebrate others' achievements or even just acknowledge the good in others without feeling a sting of jealousy. They're always engaged in a game of comparison, constantly measuring their own worth against others. And when they perceive someone as superior in any way, they feel diminished. And that's a feeling they can't tolerate. So instead of offering a genuine compliment, they might resort to backhanded compliments, those veiled insults that are designed to pull the other person down a notch or two. A narcissist's compliment might sound like praise on the surface, but if you listen closely, you'll notice that it's laced with subtle criticism. It's their underhanded way of asserting their own superiority and maintaining control. So, don't expect a genuine compliment from a narcissist, they're more likely to give you a backhanded one. The third thing a narcissist will never do is take responsibility for their own behavior. This is almost unthinkable for them. Any faults, any flaws, any wrongdoings, it's always someone else's fault in their eyes. They'll say someone else made them do it, or they couldn't do something because of someone else's actions. It's a twisted game of shifting blame, a game they play with expert precision. They fail to recognize their own behavior, their own role in the chaos they so often create. Instead they find a convenient scapegoat, someone else to shame and blame. This allows them to escape unscathed, to dodge the consequences of their actions. It's a cycle, a pattern that persists, allowing them to get away with their behavior time and again. So, a narcissist will always find someone else to blame, never taking responsibility for their own actions. Another characteristic of a narcissist? They never forgive. This trait is as consistent as their reflection in a mirror. Narcissists are renowned for their unforgiving nature, a trait that's deeply ingrained in their psyche. Imagine a fortress high and secure where grudges are stored like precious treasures. That's the mind of a narcissist. They remember every slight, every perceived insult, every exposure of their carefully constructed facade. And they don't just remember, they hold on to these moments nurturing them like a gardener tending to his prized roses. These grudges serve a purpose. They are the fuel that powers their relentless drive for revenge. But why is this? 
Well, narcissists feel threatened when someone dares to call them out or expose their true character. This perceived attack on their grandiose self-image is intolerable. It's a direct hit to their inflated ego, an ego that they protect fiercely. And so, instead of taking a step back, introspecting and perhaps changing their behavior, they retaliate. They seek revenge to restore their sense of superiority, to re-establish the control they feel they've lost. It's a bitter cycle, one where forgiveness doesn't have a place, they're not in the business of letting go or moving on, they're in the business of payback. So if you've ever found yourself on the receiving end of a narcissist's wrath, remember this. A narcissist will hold a grudge for a long time and they're not likely to forgive you. Finally, the fifth thing a narcissist will never do is be genuinely polite. Narcissists, particularly when they're in their own domain, have a tendency to discard the rules of common courtesy. They see no reason to extend politeness to you, especially not in the privacy of their own homes. They might bark orders at you, move your car, do this, do that, without a hint of a please or thank you. This behavior often manifests as a deliberate strategy to provoke you, to get under your skin. Narcissists thrive on the emotional reactions of others. They draw power from being able to control the emotional climate in their immediate surroundings. Now this isn't to say that a narcissist cannot or does not display politeness. In public settings, they might be the epitome of charm and courtesy. But remember, this is often just a facade, a performance designed to create a favorable impression, to paint themselves in a positive light. Beneath that veneer of civility however lies the true character of a narcissist. Their politeness in public does not stem from genuine respect or consideration for others, but rather from their need to manipulate perceptions and control narratives. So, don't expect a narcissist to be genuinely polite, especially when they are in the privacy of their own home.